This is a short introduction on how to program the remote controller to the flat panel LED systems. Make sure the AC power is turned off in the area where you will be installing the new remote controlled flat panels. Press and hold the ID button. Please do not remove your finger. Keep the ID button depressed. With your finger depressing the ID button, the red indicator light will come on in the upper left hand corner of the remote control. With the ID button depressed, you may turn the AC power on to your flat panels. Turning the AC power on, the lights will flash twice immediately. You can then release the ID button. Now that you have completed setting up your remote control, you can use your lights and program them in any which way that you wish. On the SSD Smart LED Flat Panel Remote Control setting tutorial for grouping up the four groups of lights. Please make sure all lights are turned off at the wall switch. Once that is accomplished, installation can begin. Press and hold one of the four group buttons, one, two, three, or four, while holding the button. Turn the panel AC power back on right after turning on the lights will flash once. With the lights that flash once, you can release the group button on the remote and that grouping has been completed. Since you've completed the first grouping, let's do group number two, three, and four, all following the same procedure. Turning off the AC, hold down the grouping button that you wish to put your lights in. Turn the power back on, they will flash. You have completed that group. Do group three, four, the same way you did one and two. Now that we have programmed all the groups, let's control the functions like color and brightness settings with the buttons that you're familiar with. Turn all the lights off with the remote or the wall switch before grouping. First of all, you can press one of the four group buttons. In this case, let's press one to make sure you should turn all lights off before the grouping. Press your power button and you can control all functions with the first group, color or brightness changing, going from 3K to 5K. And you can set the brightness from the wattage from 25 to 100%, which is full wattage. Also, you can adjust the color temperature or brightness by these buttons as you want manually. When you need to control for all groups at the same time, you press the All button. That means you've selected, then you can control all functions for all groups. Power to manual control. Thank you and enjoy. The Omni SSD OMJ7 Smart LED Flat Panel can be controlled with brightness and wattage. Controlling brightness is as simple as pushing a button. 25% brings you 10 watts of power. 50% brightness is 20 watts of power. 75% gives you 30 watts of brightness. 100% is the full brightness of 40 watts. 
Selecting brightness is easy as pushing a button from 25%, 50%, 75%, or 100%. The flat panel can be utilized in any environment. Schools, industrial, hospitals, and malls. Using the Smart LED Flat Panel Remote Control, we can change the color temperature from 3000 Kelvin all the way through 5000 Kelvin. 5000 Kelvin is noon daylight color. 4000 is warm white LED color. 3500 Kelvin is evening sunlight color. Kelvin is halogen bulb light color. Changing the color of the flat panel is easy as pressing a button. From 3000 Kelvin all the way through 5000 Kelvin or reverse in any environment that you can think of, from schools to hospitals. Smart LED flat panel model OMJ7, the remote controller delay power off. Press the power button and you can start to use the delay with group or the all. The lights will turn off for approximately 10 seconds later. Select the group button. The timer button is the red button in the bottom right hand corner. You can utilize the off button on your remote control, especially when your light switch is not close to the entrance area. The remote controller has a save button in the upper right hand corner which will save all functions that you set. Set the CCT or brightness. You can change your color or your brightness by a push of a button. Currently at 5000 Kelvin to 3000 Kelvin. Set your 3000 Kelvin, push the button, power off, and turn back on. Your 5000 is still there because it wasn't saved. We can now set the 3000 Kelvin for testing with the remote. You press it, hold the save button for three seconds and the light will flash three times acknowledging new information. Turn the lights off and on and you can see the settings have been saved.